Learning how to create wealth from nothing may sound like mission impossible, if you have always believed that wealthy individuals obtain their wealth from inheritance or influential connections. Nonetheless, 67.7% .7 of the world's ultra-wealthy people, defined as individuals with $30 million or more in assets, were self-made, according to a 2019 analysis by WealthX. Even more intriguing is the rapid growth of this class of ultra-wealthy individuals. In the 2019 report, there were 265,490 ultra-wealthy individuals. In the 2020 edition, that number rose to 290,720, an increase of about 10%. Firstly, it is feasible to create money from nothing, and secondly, those who are doing the impossible are doing so more frequently. Today, rather than fantasizing about the fortune you wish you had inherited, we urge you to investigate the many methods you can learn how to build wealth from scratch. 1. Educate yourself regarding finances. Before we can truly address significant improvements in our life, we must first alter our perspective. Robert Kiyosaki, business magnate and author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, remarked, everyone has the power to create a financial arc to survive and prosper in the future. However, you must devote time to your financial education in order to construct an arc with a solid foundation. Investing time in financial education is therefore the first step toward creating money from nothing. Learn terminology such as income, costs, net worth, return on investment, passive income, and financial freedom. Read books, listen to podcasts and interviews, enroll in financial education courses, and follow blogs like Sawa's. Remember that financial education, like all other types of education, must be an ongoing process. Never cease to learn. However, a word of caution is necessary here. Due to the democratization of financial information, there is a great deal of erroneous data available. Ensure that you only follow credible blogs that provide accurate information and direct you to trusted and successful investors, business people, and financial advisors' resources. 2. Obtain a steady source of income. Without a consistent income, it is difficult to establish wealth from nothing. You cannot invest without saving, and you cannot save without a consistent income. This means that multi-level marketing, Ponzi schemes, and gambling do not produce sustainable riches. Learn to disregard those that offer get-rich-quick methods that generate income with only three hours of work every week. Creating long-term value is the source of long-term prosperity. It is genuinely hard to amass sustained riches if you are not providing intrinsic value and earning a profit from your product or service. Therefore, obtain a good job if you don't already have one. Here are 13 measures to follow, and keep your job if you already have one. If you are the owner of a small firm, you should continue to prioritize building greater long-term value. Self-development guru. Brian Tracy stated, all money comes from adding value, which includes establishing a company plan that can create more, better, cheaper, faster, and easier than someone else. 3. Establish a budget. Creating and sticking to a budget is essential if you want to learn how to develop riches from nothing. Using the source of regular income we just discussed, you must now develop a monthly budget to get control over your spending. A budget is a financial plan containing expected revenue and expenditures for a specified period. Every household and or individual must develop at least a monthly budget outlining their anticipated income and expenses. Living without a healthy budget is akin to sailing without a compass, you will inevitably become lost in a sea of financial errors. The 50 hours 30 minutes and 20 seconds rule is a well-known budgeting method. Using this method, you can create a budget that allocates 50% of your income to basic expenses, rent, mortgage, food, and healthcare, 30% to non-essential spending such as shopping, vacation, and entertainment, and 20% to savings and investments. Why is budgeting so essential? Understanding how you spend your money makes it easier to discover expenditures that can be reduced, the less you spend, the more you can add to your savings and investments. By recognizing and eliminating unneeded and avoidable expenses, you can accumulate wealth more quickly. It's that easy. For additional information on budgeting, see How to Budget and Save Money. 4. Obtain adequate insurance, but avoid overinsurance. An essential component of your budget should be insurance. Insuring yourself and your primary assets, homes, automobiles, etc., protects you from suffering catastrophic losses in the event of unfavorable occurrences. You should obtain health insurance as a bare minimum to protect your finances in the event of a costly illness. If you do not have health insurance in the UAE, conduct research and comparisons to get the best plan for you. 
If you own a home and a vehicle, you should consider purchasing homeowners and auto insurance. Also, if you have dependent children or relatives, you might consider purchasing term life insurance. Creating wealth is beneficial, but it would be terrible to lose it due to unforeseen circumstances and events. Therefore, be proactive and insure your most important possessions. Nevertheless, do not overinsure. There are numerous pointless insurance products on the market. Unless there is a compelling cause to acquire additional, stick to the above four. Purchasing insurance cannot alter your life, but it can prevent your life from changing, stated Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba and the wealthiest man in China. You will not go bankrupt if you purchase insurance, but you will force your family to go bankrupt if you do not. 5. Save excessive amounts of your money. Although the 50 hours 30 minutes and 20 seconds guideline is a fantastic starting point, you will find that you can save much more if you put forth the effort. After committing to building wealth, there will be numerous budget items that can be reduced or eliminated. You will not be the only one doing so. There are numerous communities that support extreme savings practices nowadays. The financial independence, retire early, fire movement is one of the most prominent. They advocate extreme savings practices that push their followers to save a substantial portion of their monthly income. One of the FIRE movement's pioneers, Jacob Lunk Fisker, proposed, and followed, a strategy that called for investing 60-80% to of one's monthly income. Fisker eventually retired at the age of 33 and currently lives on an annual income of $7,000 outside of Chicago. Fisker, and other leaders of the FIRE movement, have built vast communities based on the success of their attempts to reduce expenses, and the consumerism that ratchets them up. This is accomplished in a variety of ways, including the construction and creation of necessities, e.g., making bread, constructing tables, rather than the constant purchase. In addition to the financial benefits, Fisker also receives a sense of accomplishment, which he finds more satisfying than materialism. Read Sawa's conversation with Jacob Lunk Fisker to learn more about these extraordinary money-saving tactics. While conserving 60-80% to 80 of your income may be too ambitious for the time being, it does indicate that you have likely not yet explored many options to reduce your spending. Listed below are some simple strategies to cut costs and save more money in Dubai. Cook at home as much as possible and purchase food in bulk. Reduce restaurant spending and use meal delivery app filters to take advantage of numerous discounts. Increasing the temperature by 1 degree will cut utility costs. Select a DIY exercise regimen. Purchase unique things such as laptops, refrigerators, and televisions at GITEX or Dubai Shopping Festival. If your rent is more than 30% of your income, or more than 10-15% to if you want to follow Jacob Fisker, you should renegotiate your lease or look for alternative housing options. Renegotiate your mortgage's interest rate. A thorough explanation of the aforementioned principles may be found in the article, 12 ways to save money in Dubai like a local. Utilize these guidelines to raise your investable funds beyond the typical 20% of your income. Remember that it is not how much you earn that matters, but how much you keep. And if you believe that frugality is confining, consider the words of Jeff Bezos, creator of Amazon, I believe frugality stimulates invention, just as other restraints do. One of the only ways to escape a confined space is to invent a way out. 6. Establish a contingency reserve. Having learned how to save a considerable portion of your salary, the next step in building wealth from scratch is to establish an emergency fund. A reserve fund is similar to self-funded insurance. It is money laid up for unforeseen expenses such as auto repairs and events such as job loss or pandemic-induced lockdowns. There are ways to make problems worse when unexpected expenses and unforeseen events arise. Acquire debt and or sell your investment. S. You pay interest on debt, and when you sell an investment, you lose both the amount you sold and the interest it could have generated from continued market exposure. Therefore, to avoid these two situations, we advise you to build an emergency fund immediately. Three to six months worth of living expenses should be saved in an emergency fund. Also, guarantee that these monies are accessible when necessary by placing them in a savings account. Similar to insurance, an emergency fund will not make you wealthy, but it will save you from liquidating your investments or incurring debt in the event of an emergency. 7. Improve your skill set. There are two strategies to increase savings and investments, reduce costs or increase income. While many financial consultants prioritize the former, the latter merits equal consideration. 
improve your skill set as an employee by enrolling in professional courses and engaging in continual career development. By enhancing your talents, both hard and soft, you can win promotions or receive better work offers from other organizations, resulting in a larger salary. If you own a small firm, you should increase your market knowledge, devote more resources to innovation, and deliver greater value to your consumers. This will allow you to enhance your market share and revenue. 8. Explore passive income ideas. In addition to growing the revenue from your employment or business, you should investigate passive income sources. Passive income is income that does not demand your continual presence or labor, as opposed to your work or business. For those of us learning how to generate wealth from nothing, passive income is indispensable. Warren Buffett, the great businessman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, famously stated, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll labor until you die. There are two sorts of passive income, investment passive income, your money does all the work, and non-investment passive income, your money does none of the work. You do some work on the side. Since the following part concentrates on the former, we will continue with the latter for the time being. In the global and digital economy of the present day, there are numerous options to generate extra income. Be aware of get-rich-quick schemes, such as Ponzi schemes and betting websites, while investigating these options. Some proven and trustworthy passive income strategies include. If you are an expert in a niche, you can sell digital items by creating books, video courses, email courses, and paid webinars on topics that people are interested in. The benefit of digital products is that they are created just once, except for later updates. A single product can generate income over an extended period of time. Instead of selling your idea as a digital product, you can do so via a series of consistent blog articles. Once your blog generates enough traffic, you may monetize it using Google AdSense, digital items, paid membership, sponsorships, and guest posts, among other methods. Instead of selling your own digital products on your site, you may sell other merchants' products and earn a fee on each sale through affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing eliminates the requirement to develop an original product. Dropshipping. With dropshipping, you sell the products of many merchants without carrying any inventory. Consumers place an order with you, and you transmit that order to the manufacturer, who subsequently delivers the product to the client. Your income is the difference between the retail price, what the customer pays, and the purchase price, what you pay the merchant. Accept passive investing. To accumulate riches, one must first save and then invest. If you have followed the steps above, you are now saving at least 20% of your salary and generating additional revenue through side gigs. Now is the moment to combine the two and begin investing substantially. Without exception, every one of the millionaires you know and admire amassed their riches through prudent and lucrative stock market investments. If you are not compensated for the labor, you will be forced to perform it. Your ability to earn money is constrained, and you cannot earn money while you sleep, as Buffett advised. Investing your money in the market, however, implies that your money is working for you and that you are benefiting from the efforts of others. So, what are the most effective methods for turning money into sustained wealth? Firstly, a savings account is not an investment. Only your emergency fund should remain in that location. Aside from this, you should place your funds in beneficial investments that generate high returns while minimizing risk. Money in savings accounts earns low interest rates, less than 1% April in most circumstances, and can devalue if the inflation rate is higher than the savings account interest rate. Second, market timing is not an effective method. A long-term perspective on investing is preferable to a short-term fixation on market fluctuations. The good news is that the market rises more frequently than it falls, 74% to 26%, and long-term investors are virtually assured of success. Peter Lynch, a retired investment manager, stated, more individuals lose money waiting for corrections and anticipating corrections than they do during corrections themselves. Read more about the challenges associated with market time in this article, Does Market Timing Work? Third, since market timing is not the most effective strategy to build long-term wealth, adopt passive investing rather than active investing for the majority of your funds. The dispute between active and passive investment is an ancient one. However, an increasing number of investors recognize the benefits of passive investment. In addition, passively managed funds currently outnumber actively traded funds.